Aloha my friends, Christina here, and I am so happy, excited, grateful, and blessed to be able to share with you some birthday memories today. <laughs> today is actually my birthday, it's March 11th. I am turning 36 years old, if you all can believe that. Essentially that means I've been a raw vegan for pretty much half my life at this point, and I really wanted to share this video with you today because earlier this week some of my closest friends here on island threw me a birthday party, a birthday dinner. <laughs> Originally it was supposed to be a surprise party but I ended up finding out. <laughs> it ended up being perfect nonetheless and it was a beautiful dinner filled with raw vegan food and vegan food and some of my closest friends on island who were able to make it. This isn't a typical video for me, it's not a recipe video, it's really just a vlog style video with memories that mean a lot to me and something I would like to have on my channel and just moments I want to share with you. So I'm sharing it with you today because it's my birthday. I know that many of you are going to probably be asking me, what was in the salad? What was the dressing recipe? What was the cake recipe and all these things? So I just want to let you know, I actually do plan to make a follow-up video on the salad dressing recipe that I made for my birthday as well as a birthday dessert video recipe that I can share with all of you. I haven't had time this week because of the party and because of everything happening, but it's coming, so please stay tuned. The past three years have been such a transformational journey for me. It really has been a magical experience <laughs> for me. I truly feel that I have stepped into my own as an embodied woman, and I feel that I just have so much more to share with you about this growth and expansion. I'm actually planning to redo a bunch of my playlists on YouTube very soon to reflect the past three years of my journey here in Hawaii, showing me planting my garden and the property updates and how I've become sustainable in growing my own food. What a journey, <laughs> what a transition space for me. So that's something else you can look forward to. It is starting to rain on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video. It really does speak for itself. Any and all links that you might need are in the description below. Whether you're looking to make some of these recipes and you'd like to download my app and find some of these recipes or similar ones, if you're looking for a Vitamix blender or a juicer, they're below. It's really starting to rain on me, so let's go ahead and dive into this video and thank you. I love you. Let's go. It was such a peaceful, serene, fun, and delicious celebration. I want to thank my friends who put on this intimate party for me. It really meant the world. One of my nearest and dearest friends, Mercedes, was the brain and mastermind behind this gathering and I truly cannot thank her enough. She is the best of friends. Even Coco was so excited. He got lots and lots of love this day. I made a fresh salad from my garden using all different types of greens with loads and loads of kale and herbs. The dressing which I will show you how to make in a future video, was Hawaiian macadamia nuts with freshly picked citrus for my trees, lime juice, and coconut nectar. It was divine. If you know me, then you know I'm all about fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh juice, and fresh flowers. <laughs> Mercedes put together a party favor table that essentially allowed everyone to put together their own bouquet of flowers before they left. The bouquet was their take home party favor, a special added touch. We had appetizer plates that got eaten very quickly. This one was a crudite with a raw hummus and cashew dip. A few of my friends on island who are also raw vegan chefs made beautiful and decadent dishes and desserts to share. It was beyond perfect and special. This is Anna and I absolutely adore her. She went above and beyond with her creations and they were loved and devoured. So, in these ones, we have our cucumber macadamia nut rolls with a microgreen mix mm -hmm. and a mint and herb macadamia ricotta Beautiful. with a moringa macadamia crumble sprinkled on top. Ooh, girl! <laughs> and then we have some fully raw rainbow wraps with carrots, beets, mushrooms, and avocado. And what will go in this bowl is a 
delicious punky pink tahini dipping. I'll be watching you pour that in. <laughs> Anna, your magic, thank you so much. <laughs> so this one is a tahini dipping sauce with coconut aminos, garlic, beets, Himalayan salt, cayenne pepper, and coriander. For the main table, my friends made it a collaborative effort to have both vegan and raw vegan options on the table. Not everyone who came was raw vegan or even vegan, so we wanted to make sure that there were options for everyone to enjoy. Mercedes had asked a few other of our raw vegan chef friends on the island to make dishes because she didn't want me making everything for my own party. And trust me, I fought with her a little bit on this because I'm always so used to being the one that makes all of the food. <laughs> this one is a Lilikoi dragon fruit dipping sauce. Lilikoi dragon fruit. And what's in this one? This one? Yeah. Well, other... Lilikoi dragon fruit, local macadamia nut cold pressed oil, um, salt, oranges from the land, orange zest, and garlic. Woo! Beautiful. So this one is called a shoot. It's an Israeli kind of hot sauce, and it's with jalapeno, cilantro, lime zest and juice, garlic, cardamom, and extra virgin olive oil. The colored wrap rolls and the cucumber macadamia rolls along with all of the dips and my huge salad were the raw vegan options on the table. We also had a little fruit bar and even a juice bar that I didn't get a chance to film, but it was there. We had all different types of juices that people could select to drink from that evening. Mercedes made the vegan pasta dish and there was also sourdough bread with vegan cheese that was set out for anyone who wanted that extra vegan option. For the mini fruit bar, there was watermelon, honeydew, blueberries, and some lemon that they could add to their water if needed. The goal really was just to have everyone feel welcome and to have the healthiest raw and vegan options available. There was no alcohol or anything like that. It was about wellness and connection. We all had the best time together. I'm so glad that I got a chance to get a few video clips of the table before everyone dove in because everything got eaten very quickly. <laughs> it was such a beautiful spread of food. I'm hoping that by showing you this table or this spread of food, you can see just how easy it is to create a raw or vegan spread for guests and how easily it can be enjoyed. The colors are magnetic. It feels good to the body. Not only is it eye candy, but it's healthy for the body as well. I think having different dip options really added that extra special touch and extra variety for everyone to enjoy. Those who wanted to eat all raw vegan could try doing that, and those who felt like they wanted a little bit more could also eat the vegan pasta and bread. The party started early around 5 p.m. We wanted to have an early dinner, and we all ended up talking and enjoying the gathering until much later into the evening. It was an intimate evening, and it truly felt so nice to have my neighbors, friends, and Little Island family there with me. Hi, everybody. I'm Mercedes. Hi, Mercedes. Um, we are here celebrating this beautiful woman over here. It's her birthday this week, our beautiful Gracie Tweed. Happy birthday. It is the full moon tonight, so we are celebrating all the beautiful full moon energy and have this incredible dinner that we're going to share. There's a lot of really wonderful raw food that um, we'll have and I just want to give you a little tour around the table so you can taste a little bit of everything, eat lots. Um, Riley's got the, bartend the bartending happening over there, so Thank drink you, lots. Thank you, Riley. Um, Thank you. I'm going to start with that beautiful platter over there. Chef Anna, who's up on the Kali'i Wai Ridge, mm -hmm. she made these wonderful rainbow colored um, wraps. By the way, her dishes were very inspired by Christina. Christina really wanted to cook tonight, and I said absolutely uh, not. No. <laughs> no. She was, um, she is here to be spoiled and just to have so much gathering and love and lots of food and good conversation. So uh, those are rainbow colored bean wrap um, with a dragon fruit dipping sauce. These are cream cheese cucumber wraps. 
uh, with a little microgreen green salad on top um, and an herb green sauce over there. These greens are from uh, Christina's garden that were picked today with one of her famous oh. dressings with the or with orange dressing, a little sweet dressing, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a fresh pasta, also vegan, vegan cheeses, vegan mozzarella, uh, baby tomatoes, uh, basil. And then this is fresh bread that was baked this morning in Princeville by Swell Bakehouse. Um, there is a garlic bread as well as a plain sourdough. And you have vegan uh, butter there on the side with some really beautiful um, extra virgin olive oil. Wow. wow. So, um, Please get big plates, um, <laughs> come back for seconds. Oh wait, and then there's cucumber mac and cheese rolls <laughs> with the dragon fruit lilikoi sauce. Oh yes, thank you. Mm, yummy. Uh, so cool. Enjoy. Do you like the middle or yeah. the end? Uh, Colors. No. This was how I loaded my plate. I probably went back for seconds, thirds, fourths, and possibly more. I ate multiple plates throughout the evening because everything was so yummy and because it was my birthday party. Have you ever seen a plate more colorful than this? It was mouthwatering and I just feel so happy looking at this plate of food. This is how I want to remember you always. Just <laughs> eating vegan food off my table and snacking off to <laughs> Mercedes, none of this would have been possible without you. I love you and thank you so much. You are the best in the world. I love you. Mercedes planned all this and she rocked it. Love you, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There were two raw vegan birthday cakes that were made for this party. I started laughing when I blew out the candles for my first cake because I didn't realize they were bringing out a second cake for me as well. It was funny because barely anyone sang happy birthday the second round. We were all laughing pretty hard about it. The first raw vegan cake was an ocean cake, meant for your Pisces girl over here, and it was so sweet and delicious. It was cashew based and had a butterfly pea and blueberry swirl in it that made it so beautiful. I am obsessed. The second cake was a raw vegan black forest chocolate cake and it was so decadent. This cake was loaded with raw cacao. When I say it was melt in your mouth delicious, I mean it. The ocean cake and the black forest cake together were total heaven. These were the best raw vegan cakes ever. I want to thank my friends, neighbors, and island family who came to celebrate my birthday with me on this day. It meant the world to me. I feel beyond grateful and blessed to have such wonderful humans in my life, and I feel so happy to share all of these special moments with you. Thank you. I want to thank you all so much for being a part of my birthday celebration with me. Thank you for allowing me to share these moments with you. Uh, as I said, I plan to share with you the dressing recipe from my salad and a future dessert with you, so please stay tuned to those. Um, it really means so much to me that I get to share my life with all of you, and so many of you have been following me for such a long time. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, you can always download my raw vegan recipe app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. There's 450 raw vegan recipes available for you on my app. And you'll find many similar recipes, if not almost exactly the same ones that were made at my birthday dinner on my app. So if you haven't already downloaded my app, please check it out. I'll include those links below for you and other special links as well. Thank you all again for allowing me to share these birthday moments with you. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. So much more to come. Sending you all my hugs and my love.